Hello friends, I am Ayushi Paragi, student of SVIFS. Today uh, the video is about Automated Fingerprint Identification System. The Automated Fingerprint Identification System is fully based upon the fingerprint. So first we have to talk about fingerprint. A fingerprint consists of a patterns of ridges and valleys on the surface of a fingertip. Each individual has a fingerprint which is different from the other. Fingerprint recognition system is an identification system that can be automated fingerprint identification system or non-automated fingerprint recognition system. Fingerprints are amazingly unique. No two people in the world have exactly the same placement of rich details, even the identical twins. As per the principle of permanency, fingerprints stay the same from the birth till the death of a person. They are the keys to the person's identities. This is where the office concern the automated fingerprint identification system. The AFIS is a computerized system capable of reading, classifying, matching and storing fingerprints for criminal justice agencies. Quality latent fingerprints are entered into the office for a search for possible matches against the state, maintain databases for fingerprint records to help establish the identity of un unknown deceased person or suspects in a criminal case. When minutia on the two different prints matches, these are called the points of similarities or points of identification. A fees are primarily primarily used by law enforcement agencies for criminal identification initiatives, the most important of which include identifying a person suspected of a crime and linking a suspect to the other assaults of crime. A fees is established in 1970s. A fees enables law enforcement officials to search large files for a set of prints taken from an individual and compares a single print, usually a latent print, developed from a crime scene. By the 1990s, large jurisdictions have their own system in place. The problem a person is, uh, person's fingerprints may be in one of these database but not in the other. The integrated uh, automated fingerprint identification system has the national databases of all the 10 print cards. The heart of a fees technology is the ability to work of a computer to scan and digitally encode fingerprints so that they can be subject to high speed computer processing. There are two types of fingerprint identifications, 10 print identification and Latin print identification. 10 print identification uses to confirm the identity of a criminal history of a The latent print identification using the latent print from the crime scene to the uh, uh, crime scene to identify a suspect. A life scan is simply a computer with a glass plate pattern. We just have to roll the fingerprints or fingers onto the glass patterns and the prints were electronically submitted to the office database. A face uses the unique arrangement of rich characteristics on the prints to compare them to the thousands of others on a file. The computer proceeds a list of possible matches within a minutes. The computer may narrow down the search, but there is a trained 10 print examiner who carefully compares them and determines the result. Basically, a fees system compares the prints and identifies the possible matches based on minutia data minutia data and by and related uh, demographic data this processing of the prints are for the purpose of establishing identification and creating an individual's criminal history the system serves as the central repository for identification records relating to the persons arrested throughout the country now, here is the functions of a piece. It is the process of automatically matching one or many unknown fingerprints against a database of known and unknown prints, primarily used by law enforcement agencies.
for criminal identification strategies and identifying a person suspected of a committing a crime and linking a suspect to other unsolved crime. It also helps in search a set of known fingerprints against the record of an existing 10 prints. That means the 10 uh, print inquiry. And uh, secondly, it search a latent print from a crime scene against a 10 print database. That means it, it does latent print inquiry. And uh, third is search a latent print from a crime scene against the record of existing unsolved crime databases. That means latent to latent print inquiry. And the fourth is a new tenprit against the record of existing unsolved crime databases. That means the tenprint to the latent print inquiry. The integrated automatic fingerprint identification system is used by the law enforcement agencies to store the digital prints. It is the largest biometric database in the world and containing records for more than 100 million people. When the automated process is finished, the system generates a hit list and the possible matches then checked by the export and the new original prints obtained for checking by the. The automated fingerprint verification is closely related to the technique used to applications such as attendance and access control system on a technical level verification systems to verify a claimed identity whereas the identification system determines the identity based on the fingerprint with the frequency in the recent years. A fees is the answer to the labor intensive and time consuming process of classifying, searching and matching fingerprints used for identification. A fees is primarily used by law enforcement agency for Criminal identification including identifying a person suspected of committing a crime or linking a other person unsolved crimes. It also helps to identify victims of natural disaster. So this is all for today. I have taken internet for as the so, a source of reference and thank you for watching.